Hi again. Things move fast. Huawei has integrated DeepSeek R1 now into uh, the Cilia Xiaomi agent. So when you search, you can now access both uh, the Pangu LLM model and DeepSeek R1. So I thought I'd do a quick update here uh, and show you. So first thing you see here is that it's not bad anymore. So the huge update here as well is that now uh, R1 has access to internet to search, which it don't have in the didn't have before. When will the Pura 80 be released in China? Please answer in English. Yeah, so you can see this is the default Cilia, uh, and now it has uh, R1 built into it. So it uses both the Pango LLM and C uh, and uh, R1. So you can see here it start reasoning. This is R1. So I think it depends. I've tried this, and sometimes I get uh, a Pango answer, non reasoning answer. Sometimes I get a reasoning answer. So I think there is some kind of triage here uh, that try to figure out which. Uh, model to use, which is a really good way to implement it. And that's how I would have done as well. Uh, so the Pura 80, there is no uh, real data on this, but it seems that Celia can figure out some data. Cool. So in this new update, it's also available to uh, the picture recognition has become much better. Uh, so this is a uh, Beer I had the other day. Oh, you can hear it's still Chinese New Year here. People are shooting fireworks outside of the apartment. This is some kind of Russian beer that my friend gave to me. It's quite good, but I have no idea where it is, so maybe Celia knows. We can figure it out. So, this is not using R1, this is using uh, Pango. Uh, as you can see here, it's not reasoning. Uh, I assume it uh, uses the web to search here. It's giving quite detailed info. This is much more... Uh, my friend gave me some answer, but uh, this wasn't as good. That's a great improvement. Okay, let's try here. Uh, so, to right here, I'm running DeepSeek. Uh, APP through Gbox. So this is the same phone, it's just a split screen, for it twice. And on the left I'm running the R1 agent inside Xiaomi uh, Cilia. But the standalone agent, not the integrated uh, Cilia agent. Uh, and the difference between these two is that the one on the right is running on uh, DeepSeek own servers, whereas the one on the left is running on, since it's the integrated one, it's running on Huawei's own cloud. Uh, so, I don't know if you use DeepSeek, but if you have, uh, you know the traffic is so huge uh, that it often gets this uh, server with service bus. This uh, please try again. It's super annoying. Uh, so this is the key thing with being open source that uh, Huawei can integrate it, deploy it on their own servers, and then they can guarantee uh, that they have quality of service uh, in a way that uh, it's much harder for DeepSeek, I guess. So even when trying with VPN here, it's not even possible. So I'm asking about how to count craters on the moon, and uh, I needed to know that for the project I'm doing. Uh, and that gives me a pretty good answer. And on the right, we still have try again. This was kind of what I predicted in my last video, that they will use, um, they will integrate uh, the Pango and uh, or DeepSeek into one kind of uh, within one agent, so that this agent can access both of these my language models. Um, so it's very interesting. I think there will probably be more. Um, for example, the image recognition is, is good right now, but it's probably more. Uh, and in the future, I guess, you will also be able to generate stuff. Um, but it's really interesting uh, where, how, how this is going. Um, moving fast, I think 2025 will be a huge year for AI overall. So yeah, let's see. See you soon. Bye-bye.